Hi, my name is Meg Bates, and I'm here to talk to you today about changes to the Grade 1 Everyday Mathematics 4 materials. And I'm speaking today on behalf of the entire Grade 1 team, which is led by Rachel McCall. So let me start with changes to the counting sequence. Uh, grade 1 now includes increased attention to counting, including explicit instruction on the relationship between addition and subtraction in counting, as exemplified by the use of this number line here, where we relate hops on a number line into an addition number sentence. There's also been quite a few changes to the facts sequence, beginning with the addition of Quick Looks exercises. Uh, Quick Looks help students with the ability to subitize or instantly recognize quantities without having to count, which is really foundational for facts understanding. Quick Looks exercises include things like dot patterns, 10 frames, and double 10 frames, and are found throughout Grade 1 Everyday Mathematics 4. We've also included more explicit fact strategy work, including instruction on strategies like making 10, decomposing a number leading to 10, creating equivalent sums, and utilizing the relationship between addition and subtraction to solve facts. If you look in the online grade one sampler at the table of contents, and you look particularly at units six and seven, addition fact strategies and subtraction fact strategies, you can see a lot of this new sequence. We've also refined two tools that students use to develop facility with facts. These include the addition of a strategy wall that the teacher begins keeping in Unit 2, which is an ongoing record of the strategies that children know to solve facts. And children also complete a facts inventory record where they self-assess their addition fact fluency with groups of related addition facts. Finally, Everyday Mathematics 4 Grade 1 has added eight new games total, including five that are focused on fact fluency, which brings the total number of games focused on fact fluency to 14. You can see two of these new games over here, uh, Roll and Record Doubles and Salute. There's also Roll and Total, Fishing for 10, and Subtraction Bingo. There have also been substantial changes to the measurement sequence to focus on the conceptual underpinnings of length measurement. This includes understanding length as measuring the distance along a path, understanding length as additive, and understanding length as involving unit iteration or copying units multiple times, and then adding the number of units together to understand length. Because of this increased emphasis on concepts, we have actually delayed the introduction of standard units, but much of the work in this grade, it focuses on understanding or, or developing a rationale for the use of standard units that will serve children well as they move into grade two work. Uh, in measurement, we've also increased the emphasis on indirect comparison of length as opposed to just direct comparison of length. In fractions, sort of similar to measurement, we've focused more on conceptual underp underpinnings of fractional quantity understanding. So students work with understanding equal shares of shapes and naming those shares, but we do not introduce standard notation this is because much of the research on fraction understanding says that if you introduce standard notation too soon, students often confuse work with fractional quantities with work with whole number quantities. So in order to remove those sort of misconceptions and really work with students on uh, conceptual underpinnings, we do delay standard notation until later grades. Finally, in geometry, we've uh, increased our attention to the defining and non-defining attributes of two and three dimensional shapes. And we've given students more opportunities to compose two and three dimensional shapes to create composite shapes like these you can see here. So these are some of the exciting changes to grade one, Everyday Mathematics 4.